everyone. How are you doing today? I hope you guys are doing well. Uh, welcome back to my little channel here. This is the Little Bean and Me podcast channel. My name's Kayleen and I'll be your host. I'm the principal fiber artist and yarn dyer behind Little Bean Crochet on Etsy and Little Bean Loves Hand Painted Yarn. You can find me on Instagram as Little Bean Crochet, on Facebook as Little Bean Crochet Shop, and on um, Ravelry as KM Weaver. We also have a Ravelry group. Uh, all the links for all the things are below. As always, I have show notes and timestamps down below the video. Um, and you can watch this on YouTube or on Ravelry. I usually am pretty good about posting um, in Ravelry once I, the video goes live here on YouTube. But welcome back everyone. Uh, welcome to all my returning viewers and a very special welcome to any new viewers, new subscribers. Um, I hope you enjoy this podcast. This is a little podcast about crocheting and knitting, spinning, mostly yarn dyeing and just general craftiness. So welcome. I hope you guys enjoy. So it is almost Christmas. Holy moly has this season snuck up on me. This whole week's been crazy busy with Christmas shopping and wrapping presents and just all of those lovely things. So um, yeah, it's been a very busy week for me. So let's just get into some crafting. Um, I have some yarn dyeing that I've been doing this week and I will show you here. Um, I dyed up more of this little not so happy holidays bundle. This time I did it directly on mini skeins that are pre um, pre divided. So 20 gram minis of this little set. I thought these were so cute to dye up uh, again. My daughter who's three she helped me uh, count out the minis and then hook them together with some yarn so I could keep them all together in a bundle. But I dyed some of these on little sparkles and they're just so cute. I love them. Um, and then I dyed up another color. So you guys have seen this color before. <clears throat> this is the, it's like a mauve color. And it's called Hermione. It's a tonal, it's a new release in my shop. I've officially started dyeing it up. Uh, after the new year, I'm going to be uh, updating my dye to order section to include a bunch of colorways that aren't there right now. Um, so keep on the lookout for that. But I dyed these up this week. So this is on Lux and this is on Sparkle and Everyday Sock and Lux Sock. So I dyed up on a few bases. This was the cow I had stitched up in this color. Um, as you can see, it's a different dye a lot, but it's the same feel. So yeah, I'm very excited about that. And then I was dying, so I think these are a very nice little trio here. But I put these two up in my shop. <clears throat> these are just a couple of tonals. Um, during the dye process, when you know you're you're kettle dyeing, uh, sometimes all of the dye does not exhaust if it's especially an especially saturated color. So I was working on some custom dyes this past week. And so when I do that, um, instead of just changing out my water, I often will just put in a skein of whatever is left over from the dye bath, <laughs> um, you know, waste not, want not, and put them up as one of a kind. So I have a couple of tonals here that are one of a kind and I put them together in my shop as je ne sais quoi because I don't know I just feel like they have like a little something together that is very complementary to one another. So these are on sparkle. I did them on the same base. I just happened to have sparkle next to me when I was dying. So I chose these. Um, and then when I was putting it up against this I was like this would make a really cute set. So like this is the one of a kind skeins and then this is Hermione. Like isn't that really cool? So if these are your your jam so to speak, I have some of these in the shop right now but so that's the dyeing I've done and then I had one more one of a kind so this I think I called Telltale. Um, I had some fluorescent pink left over from this dye that I used to dye these mini skeins. And so I threw an everyday sock in the dye bath and then I decided instead of just leaving it as a tonal that I would speckle it up and just kind of do um, an anarchy dye where I just take different colors, put them in the pot, 
see what comes out and it came out very beautiful so it's speckled reds dark purples blacks you can still see some of the pink showing through here but it became very nice and saturated so that's also up in the shop right now so that was my dye week it was a very low-key dye week i didn't do a ton of new dyeing this week only because i did a larger shop update last week and then yesterday I did a surprise uh, shop update with some of these skeins and then I also marked down a ton of skeins. So if you follow me on Instagram you saw that post. There's still some stuff available, some of the Christmas colorways and some tonals and these things, they're still up there. Uh, the cowls are also marked down significantly. So if you have some Christmas gifting or holiday gifting to do, no matter what holiday you celebrate, um, <clears throat> I have a ton of stuff ready to go that's been marked down in the clearance section. So yay for yarn. <laughs> um, speaking of yay for yarn, I want to show this. So let's talk about spinning. If you follow me on Instagram, you'll see that I received a braid of fiber from my dear friend Clarissa Beth. She is Miss Crochet Cakes here on YouTube. She runs a podcast. If you haven't checked her out, she's wonderful. She's so sweet. Um, she's from Puerto Rico and she's been doing a ton of like Christmas, like 12 days of Christmas cooking, which is kind of cute. Um, but anyway, <clears throat> so she watched the podcast last week or the week before, I'm sorry, it was the week before, where I talked a lot about spinning and how I love Polworth and it's my favorite fiber to spin so far and you know, so anyway, I was out of fiber and <laughs> it just so happened I was out of fiber and all of a sudden she sent me a message and she said, what's your favorite color? And I was like, I like all colors, I dye yarn, like what? I just love all colors. So I don't have a favorite, that sucks for an answer, sorry, but. So she said, well, you have a gift coming and it should be there next week. I said, okay. So she sent me an Instagram message. She said, okay, your package says it's from Greenwood Fiber. I think it's Greenwood Fiber Works. It's not a bomb. That's your present. And so it came with a lovely Christmas card she sent to me. And then this braid, which is here, of 100% Polworth dyed in the Cherry Cola colorway and holy moly was it soft and squishy and I just couldn't wait to put it on the wheel so I put it on the wheel <laughs> um oops I literally just spun and spun and spun and spun until it was gone finished the bobbin yesterday and then plied it this morning and here's my little skein look at that little dude so this is it all skeined up. This is 111 grams, so it's a little bit more than four ounces of, this is coming up beautifully true to color, by the way. I did, I spun singles and then I Navajo plied because I wanted to keep the color transition the way it was. I didn't want to have too much um, barber pulling or variegation. <clears throat> so yeah, so here's my little, my little fiber baby. Um, I'm so excited. You can see here the color transitions are very regular so it went from this red to tan to red to dark ruddy brown to red to tan to red to dark ruddy brown so that's kind of what you're seeing here there we go so you can see it's navajo plied it came out to generally a heavy worsted to like bulky weight and I think this came out great I I really worked hard to despite being distracted by children to spin again as thinly as I can and as <clears throat> consistently as I can so since I love to Navajo ply that is my preferred ply method I need to spin extremely thinly to get anything underneath a uh, heavy worsted to bulky weight. This in some places did. So here I have a bit of worsted, just straight up worsted. Then here's some bulky. So you can see the size difference in between the um, different plies. But overall, it wasn't as thick and thin as I've usually spun. So I'll show you another spinning project that's turned into a crochet project. But this I think is going to turn into a gift knit 
and I think I'm going to knit a hat from this and I might put some um, really soft merino on the brim because even though this isn't uh, very scratchy like I, I find this pleasing still the person that I'm thinking to gift this to she is so I want to she, I feel like she's more sensitive than I am so I want to make sure that I have the softest a softer fiber here because this is also hand spun so the twist is not sometimes it's a little over twisted where it'll make it feel less less soft um, like if the threads like if, it, if the, the individual plies like if there's one or two that's a little over spun like see how you get all these little doobly dudes you see that there that's a little doobly doo there's a few places in here where that happened where I had some really thread thin um, sections you know it was just in a transition I didn't pre-draft well enough or consistently enough so that's what happened but again I'm very 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 happy with this I feel like I'm getting better which is great um, and then if I'm comparing it to this project which is a work in progress um, you can see that this is a little more thick and thin and the pieces of the ply like there are some very thick parts and some very thin parts and overall I feel like this is a much more consistent product so very very pleased with this this was Greenwood Fiberworks the cherry cola colorway in the 100% Polworth so it was very lovely to spin um, it's very soft it's not I feel like it's not as soft as just straight up merino um, <clears throat> To me, I feel like this might get a little irritating, like if I had it on my forehead or under my chin. So what I'm going to do is knit a hat, but I'm going to do the brim, I think, in my merino worsted or bulky. So anyway, that's that. Project one, done. Very, very happy with it. Uh, project two that I'm working on. So you guys saw this fiber that I spun. This was from a Classy Squid Fiber Company. Uh, Amanda she is a brilliant fiber dyer she creates art bats roll lags she sells roving or, or even comb top uh, depends what you're looking for her shop is awesome so this I spun up and a couple of weeks ago I showed you the final product and I'm pretty happy with how it's stitched up I knew this was going to be a cowl but again the Polworth to me is like just a little I'm really sensitive so it's like just a little bit too rough on my neck and I really want to wear this as a cowl so what I'm doing as you can see here is I have a crocheted cowl and then I picked up stitches here in my bulky base just plain ecru base and I am going to stitch up a lining for the cowl so what's gonna happen is I'm going to just stitch up, 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 up until it's the same length, turn it inside out, and then pick up the stitches here. And I think I'm gonna have to do some kind of kitchener ring to get a nice clean seam, but that's what it will be. So I'll stitch it around until it's almost all the way stitched, and then turn it back right side out, and then finish the stitch on the outside. Kind of like what you would do for, I don't know, like a pillow if you were stitching a pillow by hand or whatever you'd be stitching around until you get to the final corner and then turning it right side out and then stitching closed so that's what's going to happen with this this will be a closed cowl right now I picked up one for one around the edge but you can see that there's a gauge difference here so I might add some stitches we'll see I mean I'll just frog it if I don't like it it's just stockinette all the way around but I'm very happy with that. So that is project number two. And then this is the last project that I have worked on this week. So this is this was a cast on. I saw a post from Tin Can Knits, who I love. They were releasing another pattern, and this time it was for simple mittens. It, not like their maize mittens, where most of it is reverse stockinette, which I'm not a super fan of doing pearls. <laughs> Um, so it was a simple stockinette mitten. So I have a hoe. This is 
my Wig and Tree colorway in the Simple DK base. I had an extra skein of this that I had pulled out of the shop because I was intending to stitch it up, but it's also not fall anymore, so it's not a, a color I think that most people are looking for. So you can see it's a brown with oranges, greens, purples, kind of all mixed in there. It's a very dimensional, variegated yarn, but it looks beautiful. I mean, it's just an absolutely gorgeous yarn. Cast this on, finish the mitten in one day. Still have not cast on the second mitten. <laughs> but these are a gift knit. I think I talked about them last week that I cast them on. Did I? I don't know if I did. Maybe I did. I don't remember if I talked about these, but these were a gift knit. So I have half object finished, mitten, still have to cast on the other one, but this takes maybe a day to finish. So this is the lady's small, and I think I used 27 grams, 27 grams of 100 gram skein. I weighed it once I cast it off and wove in the ends. I don't think I'm gonna block it either. I think that it fits very well. Uh, my hands are small, and the person that I'm gifting them to, her hands are slightly smaller than mine, at least I think they are. So, that's it. Boop. Finished. Bitten. Oh, boy. Things that I haven't touched, that I've intended to touch, are these socks. So I'll show them one more time. Uh, I kind of put them in timeout because I had a stitch that was added, but these are the gradient socks. That I was working on. They're still lingering here in my box, my pouch. Um, yeah, I don't think there's much else that's going on. Oh, I should show you the rest of those polymer clay hooks that I finished. I'll be right back. Okay, so I showed last week that I was starting to work on a project and I finished it. So, Heather, if you're watching this, I don't think you watch this, but. You should look away because this is your Christmas present. Um, so I have a friend who enjoys ergonomic hooks. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, I have them all here. And she's a Star Wars fan, as am I. And so I started working on these hooks. This is the hook I showed last week. This is all glazed up now. Um, I'm not entirely happy with the glaze job because I think I did a little bit too thick of a layer here and you can see it's a little cloudy. Or I didn't wait... Um, wait long enough in between. But these are the ergonomic hooks I was working on. These are just in polymer clay, hand sculpted. So these are kind of like a Star Wars theme. I wasn't entirely sure if I was going to do a Star Wars theme, but you know. So these are the hooks. So I have a set of six hooks that I've been working on. So that's two of them. They look pretty much the same. And then I started experimenting with size and shape. So here's another. There's a little bit of a different shape to it. And then there's a few more. So this one has like little screws on it. So I really hope she likes these. This is the J hook or K hook. This one kind of looks like space, like stone. It's like all pearlized inside and then here's another one this one's one of my favorite ones so yeah I worked on these one night baked them up that night glazed them and then I was finished so these are the hooks oh, but anyway my battery light is flashing at me so I'm gonna have to cut this one a little bit short which is unfortunate but I really don't have much else to talk about so I'd rather cut it short so I'm not rambling on but I hope you guys have a wonderful wonderful holiday I am not going to be doing a podcast next week I don't plan on it um, only because it's gonna be Christmas and I think I'm going to come back not next week the following week or the first Friday in January so I'm gonna have my shop closed from I want to say next Wednesday I'll put it in vacation mode until the following Wednesday so I'll take a week off the shop so I can die and just experiment and be casual and have fun and not worry about custom orders or ready to ship things I'm hoping a lot of what is dyed will move along this week so again if you're looking for something I have a bunch of stuff I've listed on clearance for you guys so anyway I'm sorry I rushed through these hooks but the battery is going to die 
So I will show these. Well, actually, I won't show them next week because I'm not podcasting. <sighs> so yeah, these are the hooks. I'm almost wishing I did them all in the same style, but they all have a very similar feel. So I kind of had like droids in mind when I was thinking like, oh, I'm going to do this. So anyway, I hope you have a wonderful holiday. Uh, whether you celebrate Christmas or Hanukkah or Three Kings Day or any of the holidays that are coming in the next couple of weeks, please, please enjoy. I hope it is full of warmth, love, and laughter with friends and family. That's what we plan anyway, so hopefully it turns out that way. Um, I will see you guys in my next podcast, which will be not next week, but probably the following week. So enjoy. Have a wonderful day and a wonderful weekend, and I'll see you in my next episode. Bye!